Hello students, welcome to the class. Today we are going to learn about HTML, CSS and JavaScript for web developers. So I hope you guys know what is the use of these languages and that is the reason you are here to learn about it. But still I am going to tell you the purpose of each computer language which we are learning today. That is HTML, CSS and JavaScript. When you talk about developing websites, these languages are very basic languages, very basic platforms to start on if you want to learn on developing a website. Website is a collection of different number of web pages. So the first most basic thing which we should learn is HTML. Now when you talk about developing websites, we need three computer languages, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Each one has a different purpose. We will look at each one's purpose in the detail. First, let's talk about HTML. Now, let's go to the example of Amazon website. You can see there is a lot of information on the Amazon website. All that information which you see is written using HTML. So, if you want to put any information in your website, you want to structure it, that is done using HTML. That is the purpose of HTML language. So a uh, basic word to remember HTML is structure. It is used to structure your website because you put information, you structure the information. Same way next is uh, CSS. Now let's talk about CSS. I'm going to tell you the full forms and we will look at the each term in the detail. But just uh, to give you a review of what is the purpose of each one, I'm talking about this CSS. Now, when you go to the any website, you put the information, you're going to add the information using HTML, but the, how do you make it look beautiful? So to make it look beautiful, you are going to use CSS to change the color of your web page. Consider you want to change the color, then you want to add the different font, different size. You can see on Amazon, there are different fonts, different sizes available. How is that possible? That is possible using CSS. Now the single word to remember CSS is presentation. So if you want to make your website look really presentable and beautiful, you are going to use CSS. Now let's talk about JavaScript. What is the use of JavaScript? Now to make your website dynamic, if you are going to develop a website just using HTML and CSS, it's going to be static. It will not respond. Now you can see on Amazon what is happening. You are just a uh, clicking on a button add to cart it is sending the information to the amazon team that you have purchased this product and the processing is happening you get the confirmation message all this functioning which is happening is done using javascript so if you want to make your website function properly functioning is done using javascript so the three words which we learned today about the basics of developing a website is html is used for structure CSS is for presentation and JavaScript is for function. All these three are needed to develop a great website. But the first basic thing which we will start with is HTML. And as we move forward toward the classes, we will learn each one of this in the detail. Let's start with our basic topic that is HTML for today. HTML. Now let's talk about what is the full form of HTML. It is hypertext markup language. Hypertext markup language is the very basic and the primary language which you are going to use for creating website. Now like I told you all the information is written using HTML. So this contains a series of codes used to structure text image and all other content in the browser. So it's very easy to learn and very easy to modify. So it is a combination of hypertext and markup language. Now why we call it combination and what is the meaning of these two words separately? I'll tell you in the detail. Okay, once we move forward towards the presentation. Now it contains uh, all the content of the web page. It is used to structure the web page. That is the single word which I told you to remember. If you want to remember HTML, what is the use of HTML? It's structure. It is used for structuring your web pages. Okay. Now we can create website using HTML, which can be viewed on all internet connected devices. So if you develop website on your laptop, you can view it in your Android mobile phones also. 
now when you structure the website in that what all this structure content includes it includes text in, includes hyperlinks tables images media all this information is there in, in every website so it is possible using html now you are going to use tags in your html so why we use tags to instruct the browser how the content should be of the web page so you will instruct your computer now how html work is you are going to send some input to the computer using tags if you want to display something on your web page you will send that information you will write that content in your tag computer will process it and it will give you output so we are going to send the input computer is going to do the processing and gives us the output let's move forward to the next slide now let's see in the detail what do you mean by hypertext markup language and the web page let's talk about hypertext now before telling you the definition of this i want to tell you the example of this so that you can relate it now consider amazon web page amazon has a different categories there is electronics there is a grocery store there is a clothing store so there is one single amazon website which is this categories now again if you go to the clothing there is a men clothing kids clothing women clothing there are a lot of option there is a page inside page there are multiple pages so if there is a text inside text or page inside page they are linked together using hyperlinks correct we are linking them together this is the meaning of hypertext it is about linking multiple pages together multiple html documents together is hypertext that is why this is called as hypertext because you are multiplying lot of pages together now why it is called as a markup language because it is used to apply layout and formatting to make it beautiful you put the proper layout you add image you add table you add link you add all this to make it attractive the images make it attractive table makes it attractive so uh, all this is included in the markup language that is why we call it as a markup language web page it is a document that is commonly written in html and translated by a web browser few minutes back i told you same thing uh, input we are going to give input to the computer is going to process it and it will give us the output on our web browser now you can read a web page can be identified by entering in a url now once you enter the website link you can see that particular website correct now it can be static also dynamic also i told you in the start like with if you are using html and css you can just make static web pages if you want to function it you want to make it dynamic you are going to use javascript let's move forward why are we using html why is it important to use html what are the features of html the first thing is it's very easy to learn if you want to get into the web development thing or you are interested in that field html is a very great language to start with it is very light weighted now you will see how the html and css works tags are more appealing you can make professional web pages using this basic computer languages very basic one html css now let's look at the features of html the learning curve is very easy whatever you're going to learn in html the process is going to be very easy and very fun creating effective presentations now why we are talking about presentations here is consider you have developed some project you want to uh, consider you have developed a website only now you want to tell someone you want to present your website to someone you can create a html web page put the information everything about your website put the link of website you can put the resources which you have used you can put the resources which you have used so everything is going to be there in single web page the link of your game or your link of your website all the resources which you have used everything is going to be in just one single page so you can use it to present something also or any other work presentation also you can use it adding links wherein we can add references like i told you you can add the references in your web page but now what does it mean by adding links you can 
just not write the information of your reference you can put the link of your reference using html link is added now it is used to display on all the platforms it is possible to display on mac windows linux it is compatible with all the platforms it is also used to add videos graphics and audios so you can see how the youtube website is created there are lot of videos into it so you can create something which has a lot of videos using html then we have case insensitive language what do we mean by case insensitive language when you write any code now consider this is written html is the first language so it is not compulsory or mandatory to write something in upper case or something in the lower case lot of computer languages have are case sensitive few keywords should be in upper case only few keywords should be in lower case only but uh, html is like very comfortable language and case insensitive so you can write in any characters it can be upper case character or lower case character you have the complete freedom for it now what are html tags html tags are the keywords that define how a web browser will format and display the content so if you want to give information to the computer to display something you are going to use tags now how computer identifies what is the html content and what is simple content how computer will understand using this tags if you put something inside the tag that is your html content and what is not inside the tag that is simple content so this is to make computer understand what should be done with the information now when we talk about html tag it has three parts opening tag you will open it then you have content what do you mean by content here it is the information and then we have a closing tag there are some tags in html that are self and closing we don't need to close them we will see them in the later classes now when a web browser reads an html document the browser reads it from top to bottom and left to right it reads the complete web page it means now it is used to create the html document and put the properties so using tags you are telling the computer in a very simple term it is telling the computer what should be displayed and each html tag is going to have different properties which we will see in the html tags are always written in the angular brackets every html tag has a different purpose it is going to tell the computer what should be done and what should be displayed now uh, there are two types of things in uh, tags opening and closing in between there is a information so you open the tag then you put some the in, some information in it and then you close the tag opening tag is in the angular brackets and there is a content and using slash you can close your tag this is how tags are uh, work in html now in the next session we are going to implement all these tags we are going to code one program thank you so much thank you for being in the session